Attack helicopters are fierce predators that go after enemy troops and guard friendlies. Due to their heavy armament, they are sometimes called helicopter gunships. The American AH-64 Apache and the Russian Ka-52 Alligator are two of the world's most advanced and deadliest war machines. We'll hypothetically compare these helicopters in this video and try to determine which one would win in a real battlefield scenario. Don't forget to subscribe and click the bell button so that you can be part of our notification squad. Number 1. Let's have a quick look at the specifications first. The AH-64 Apache is a twin-engine attack helicopter developed for the U.S. Army in 1984. The U.S. Army has more than 2,000 Apaches in service. As of today, per unit cost of the latest variant is around $39 million. Operated by a crew of two, the gunship's empty weight is 11,387 pounds and maximum takeoff weight is 23,000 pounds. The helicopter comes with four hardpoints on stub wings, a station on each wingtip for twin missile pack, in addition to a 30mm chain gun with 1,200 rounds. On the other hand, the first Ka-52 Alligator was rolled out in 1997. The Russian Army has more than 100 Ka-52 helicopters in its service. As of today, per unit cost of the latest variant is around $18 million. Operated by a crew of two, the gunship's empty weight is 16,976 pounds, and the maximum takeoff weight is 23,810 pounds. The Alligator is fitted with four underwing hardpoints and two wingtips hardpoints for countermeasures or air-to-air -air missiles. The gunship is armed with a semi-rigid 30mm cannon, having 460 rounds of ammunition. Number 2. Performance the Apache is equipped with two turboshaft engines generating 3,780 horsepower combined. The American variant has General Electric engines, while the UK Apache is fitted with engines from Rolls-Royce. With a ferry range of 1,178 miles, the gunship can gain top speed of 182 miles per hour. The cruise speed of the helicopter is 165 miles per hour, while the endurance is 3 hours 9 minutes. The combat radius of the gunship is around 300 miles. The helicopter can climb at a rate of 2,917 feet per minute, and its service ceiling is around 20,000 feet. Similarly, the Alligator is powered by two turboshaft engines driving two contra-rotating main rotors. Each engine produces maximum power of 2,400 horsepower. The engines are equipped with full authority digital control system. With maximum speed of 196 miles per hour, the cruise speed of the gunship is 170 miles per hour. The ferry and combat ranges of the Alligator are 721 miles and 290 miles, respectively. With a climb rate of 2,362 feet per minute, the Ka-52 can reach a maximum altitude of 18,045 feet. The Apache accelerates faster than the Alligator and has greater ferry range, but the Russian gunship has higher top speed. However, overall, in terms of engine power and agility, both attack helicopters have their own strengths and weaknesses. Number 3. Survivability the Apache has a crew compartment shield between the cockpits in such a way that at least one crew member can survive the hits. The compartment and the rotor blades are designed to sustain direct hits from 23mm rounds. The airframe includes 2,425 pounds of protection and has a self-sealing fuel system to protect against ballistic projectiles. Some variants are equipped with a direct infrared countermeasure pod system that features laser shooters capable of blinding incoming missile seekers. Apache crews are trained extensively during nighttime, as the helicopter was literally designed to excel in a dark environment. Whereas, a high degree of Ka-52 survivability is ensured by the pilot's cockpit, fitted with steel plates that can withstand direct hits from 20mm projectiles. Protection of fuel tanks, controls, drive system, and auxiliary power unit are also heavily armored. Hydraulic and the rotor blades are made from composite material, which are rated to withstand several hits. If one engine is destroyed, the Ka-52 can fly with only one, 
It is the world's first operational helicopter with a rescue ejection system, which allows the pilot to escape at all altitudes and speeds. Overall, the Russian Alligator is slightly superior in terms of crew survivability due to its protected armor, pilot ejection system, and overall ruggedness. Number 4. Radar and Avionics The Apache is equipped with millimeter-wave longbow radar, which can perform under poor visibility. Lockheed Martin has developed a new targeting and night vision system for the Apache. The new system is called Arrowhead and has three fields of view, a dual field of view pilotage, night vision cameras, target tracker, and auto bore sight. The Apache is equipped with an electronic warfare suite and is also equipped with integrated radio frequency countermeasures. In contrast, the Alligator is equipped with nose-mounted radar with two antennas for aerial and ground targets. The countermeasures are supported by active infrared and electronic jammers, radar warning receiver, laser detection system, missile approach warning sensor, and flare dispensers. The Alligator is also equipped with an electronic radio and site piloting navigation system, allowing flights in all weather conditions during day or night. The pilot helmet is equipped with laser range finders for better target acquisition. In this category, the American Apache is better than the Russian attack helicopter due to its superior sensors and avionics. Number 5. Firepower The Apache is equipped with a 30mm automatic chain gun with 625 rounds per minute. The helicopter has capacity for up to 1,200 rounds of ammunition. The Apache is armed with the Hellfire air-to-surface missile with fire and forget mode. The range of the missile is around 5 to 8 miles. The Apache can be armed with air-to-air -air missiles including Stinger, Sidewinder, Mistral, Sidearm, and Hydra rockets. The helicopter can carry 16 Hellfire missiles on 4 rail launchers and 4 air-to-air -air missiles. On the other hand, the Alligator is equipped with a 30mm semi-rigid movable gun installed under the fuselage. The six external wing-mounted hardpoints can carry a wide array of weaponry. These hardpoints can be armed with laser-guided missiles, anti-tank guided missiles, or rocket launchers for 80mm unguided S-8 rockets. The anti-tank missile has a range of 5 to 6 miles. The helicopter is also armed with anti-aircraft missiles. In this category, both gunships are at par, as both have a wide array of advanced weaponry at their disposal. So what are your thoughts regarding which attack helicopter is better and why? Please let us know in the comments section, and be sure to check out our other military videos. Thanks for watching, and as always, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe.